<laughs> and what you just said is by far the most racist thing that I've ever heard in my life. Fucking disgusting, man. I can't even look at you anymore. Are we live, Matt? Yeah, we are. Live? Yep. Episode number three. Yeah. This is our third time doing this already. It's different on the couches. Yeah, put your hands up in the air when you do that. <laughs> yes, yes, that's already better. That's already better. We have uh, James and Christina behind the cameras looking at us. We have a us. live audience today. And here. Michael's lounge room looks different. Does that mean we'll have some real laughters? Yeah. Yeah, maybe. Instead of a, maybe, Matt. Yeah. I, don't, I don't know. They might not have uh, the same sense of humor as us. Yeah. Uh, you can't predict it. I'm not very funny. Exactly. <laughs> Michael's lounge room looks different because um, I poured 10 liters of barbecue sauce over him today. Uh, it was hilarious. It smells. It was it was it was a long process to get it clean, wasn't it? You Remember? fucked it. You ruined the day. I ruined your couch, the carpet. It, it took a long time to clean everything. The curtains are fucked. Man, I really took it to to the net to the Ned's level, man. Right now on the website and also on social media should be right now. We'll probably be releasing the exact same time as the podcast. We did a video with Shami and the boys. Fucked dodgeball. What happened? We just, it's dodgeball, but just with fuck shit. Yeah, there was light bulbs. Man, there was fucking all sorts glass. of shit. There was glass, Matt. Would you play? No. Yeah. You, there was tomatoes. I no, hurt Dim. None of my tomatoes. I hurt Dim in the arm. Yeah, you hurt him badly, man. His forearm's fucked. 100%. We won. We did, dude. Of course we won. Yeah, we okay, knew we were enough. going to win. Yeah. We Even have... though we had one less player and Julian as well. It was 4v5. <laughs> and we won. But um, that's out right now. So fucking go and have a cheeky w- pause. This it's only like three or four minutes long. You have go quick. Have a look. They know what talk back. Come back. Press play on this again. And if you if you want, like you could, uh, you know, you could comment. It's on not this video. hard. Yeah, like even just even now at the beginning, if you want, get it done. Over just get and it done over and with. done with, so you can enjoy the show. And and like like the video and if you aren't subscribed, like there's a pretty simple solution to that. What do you reckon? Which Matt? you haven't figured out yet. <laughs> Have you? Let's see if you've subscribed. He hasn't subscribed. Yeah, what do you what mean? Happened? Let's see. He's very open and honest about it. Oh, the website. Yes. Yeah. True. Look at how stressed I am. My hair's falling out. That's a nice bag. Let's get these fucking sponsors out of the way. so, so sign up, dude. Speaking of signing up, all right? If you want male grooming products, use our discount code FULLYACTUAL20. If you want ball trimmers, hair trimmers, they they got fucking... They got deodorant now. They're sending on its way. They got ball towels for when you're out at the clubs and you want to nest your sack up a slut and your balls are all covered in rot you pull a ball pull a ball wipe out and you yeah. smear it all off and cast it aside and then and then you can fuck without worries should i go get some <laughs> yeah go on oh, no. yeah you need That's to clean not- your balls <laughs> all sorts of shit you put a ball wipe in your wallet and then you're sweet they go what else do they have we should really look at their products <laughs> A whole range of things. Fully mops. crop oh, yeah. mops. Manscaped.com. We'll all use one. Oh, if they're... you need a new shaver, if you're due for one, you may as well go to Manscaped. They've got real good quality products and use our discount code fully actual 20 for 20% off everything. Oh, they've got the nose trimmer. You guys oh, got the nose the trimmer. The nose trimmer. I That's use correct. that daily. I use that daily too. Probably not daily. No, yeah, Sorry, I don't I think I've given you yours. I've Sorry, got both I lied. Of them. Yeah, I haven't used it yet. <laughs> Uh, to be honest, I haven't really used any of the products. Well, we're about to I'm now. about to use this for Let's the first go. time. No, I've been using these. They're good. <laughs> oh, <it> <laughs> <burns>! <laughs> Very good. <laughs> yeah. Oh, dude. Did you use yours, Brown? No. He doesn't <sighs> need to. His balls are always clean. <laughs> And yeah, um, single. of course, our other sponsor, the University of Michael, where we post our weekly videos. And let me tell you something right now, right? 
You won't ever see that content anywhere else, you fucking cunt. <laughs> you fucking bag of shit. You don't believe me? Go and have a fucking look. I dare you to go and have a fucking look. What is it? A tell 30 me day free trial. 21 day free trial, mate. <laughs> and you can have a, you can watch or not, watch all 200 videos and then unsubscribe. All right? You don't have to pay a cent to watch it all. How's that? Or you could stay on. They've told me not, not to say that yeah, multiple no. times. I've told you not to say that. Yeah, it's yeah, the yeah. Second that's, or third that's hurting time out where we're losing money right now as I'm speaking. Well, at least we're helping people 100%. laugh. 100%. And I dare you to have a look. Yeah, there is some confronting shit. It's like a mix like of actual shit. Jackass. Pornhub scat section. Oh no! There's a few good sketches in there. Yeah, baby. Calvin, it's all Calvin. over the place. And that subscription website funds this whole fucking shit show. It even it even funds the Brown. He wouldn't be sitting in that fucking chair if it wasn't for the website. I hate this chair. How dare you, you fucking pig! That is a good. <laughs> Good chair. I don't. No, it's not. You get an upgrade. It's a soon. Anyway, what's the shit talk that's happened? Um, nothing happened over the weekend. What did you do on the weekend? Nothing. Oh, I hung out with my girlfriend. So did I. I had Matt? dinner at the in-laws. I'm with you on that one. And what did you do, Brown? You I sat lots. alone and masturbated to carefully selected porn videos with your tissues all over and your moisturizer <laughs> on your big screen TV at midnight. With candles. How did you know that? <laughs> <laughs> no, I did lots of things. Um, I saw James and Christina and we watched a movie and Christina fell asleep. Holy and, um, shit. Wait, I've got a really good date idea. Oh, and here this, we fucking go. Greg told us this. Greg, Greg is, Smith is a master. Okay, so you go to the Botanical Gardens in at Brisbane. night time in Brisbane. It only works in Brisbane. Yeah, it might work in other botanical gardens. Uh, uh. You take apples, you set up a little picnic thing, you throw out the apples, you eat your dinner with your girlfriend, and then possums come to you and you hand feed the possums. Poison. You hand feed them no, poison? No, little yeah. bits of apple. You watch them eat the apple in their hands. Which has poison lace all through it. In you half an hour's time, you, want. you watch them all freaking out and panicking. You and the general public watching multiple possums dying in front of them. It is I think they're considered a fucking a laugh. So it's okay. Yeah. But yeah, I've killed heaps. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, basically then you just get to feed the possums from like hand feed them. Anyway. It's exciting. Yeah, yeah, I guess it's exciting. It's not that exciting. Yeah, yeah. don't. No. Unless Sorry. you poison them. So I went to the cardiologist again. I've got to do a bunch more tests. So that's oh, good. Fuck. I, they're going to just do all these tests. And if I still have blood pressure, if they determine that I have diagnosed blood pressure, high blood pressure, I have to go on medication for the rest of my life. Do you reckon the rest of your the life? The rest of my life. <laughs> <laughs> Far too young, he said. Uh, <laughs> far too young. Did you electrocute me then? <laughs> <laughs> My feelings were hurt. <laughs> On this day. Oh, God. <clears throat> you can electrocute people. <sighs> On oh. this day in 2015, Ed Sheeran would collect stray cats and zip tie them together in strange and interesting shapes. The cat sculpture grew to over 37 cats, all different colours and sizes. He fed and cleaned them every day and even slept with the cat sculpture. However, the cats at the top would shit all over the cats at the bottom, so he untied the zip ties and set the cats free in a fire. He wrote the song Shape of You as a tribute to the cat sculpture he made. The lyric, I'm in love with the shape of you, is a direct reference to his fucked, mangled, meowing cat sculpture. You fucking cunts. What are you scoffing at, cunt? You wrote that! You fucking wrote that! <laughs> oh, yeah, you do the other stage. Oh. oh, man. That's so hot. So that I've always wondered why he wrote that fucking song. I'm Which in love one? with the shape of you. Like, oh. what? What? Yeah, it doesn't make any it. sense, does it? Yeah, but Now it, it does. Now it makes plenty of sense. <laughs> he had cats zip tied together. 37 of them. All different sh sh strange shapes and sizes. <laughs> <laughs> just picture it right now. I want you to actually yeah, like try a, and picture I'm, it. I'm picturing just a square of cats. No, like it's a fucking 
a mass of cats. Like they're <laughs> zip tied by the arms, by the tail, some by the necks together. And they're all joined. Not one can escape. Do you understand? I think so. Yeah, you drew it. Yeah. <laughs> anyway. Um, right. I think it's time for... Um, it's time for an entry from uh, Matt's little brown, little oh, brown, little yes. black book. Here Matt's, we go. Matt's <laughs> what number is it? Matt's little black book of haves. Let me just have a look here. Let me have a flip through the pages. <laughs> that was good. <laughs> I found it. <laughs> you found it. <laughs> okay, here we go. Right, this was Mate! Oh. Ooh, Matt's playing around with the Sorry. recording. How how confusing for the viewers at home? But Must have been. I wonder if that worked. Home. You keep putting this B Being shit on. Being, yeah, I'm trying to be like a bit more sophisticated. It's like womb. Mm, a womb. <laughs> now you're getting it, baby. <laughs> mm, you understand? <laughs> you fucking loser. That is fucking amazing. That's you. That's you. <laughs> Have number 26. I smelt her cunt from across the dam floor and my tongue flicked out of my mouth and moistened my eyes with a firm lick to each eyeball. She was drenched in sweat and was clearly on drugs. I snapped my neck back and let out an almighty roar. <laughs> my scream caught her attention and all the blood in my body turned into foamy sperm. I stared at her tits <laughs> and felt drool pouring out of my mouth like a running tap. I power walked over to her, not taking my eyes off her tits and shoving other people out of the way. I immediately started dancing with her and was grinding on her sweaty back. She pushed back into me and I knew she might accept my mince seed this night. Her bright red hair was plastered to her back with sweat and I slid it out of the way with my pointer finger and started tonguing at her neck. <laughs> <laughs> her skin tasted like blue cheese and she started panting <sighs> she rocked her head back onto my shoulder and, and I placed my hands on her fat damp tits while still furiously tonguing at her neck and ear as I groped her thick chest I whispered you want to get out of here her eyes were completely out of focus and as she opened her mouth I could smell that she had vomited recently as she spoke a fleck of kebab shot out of her mouth and onto my cheek I nearly came <laughs> I, I went I want you to drill a hole through my cum, she said. I grabbed at my throbbing brown to stop it from ejaculating. I composed myself and led this beast from the club. Outside, when the street light hit her, I could see that she'd been involved in some sort of car accident as she had deep scarring on the left side of her morbidly obese body. This only excited me further, and on the way to the taxi rank, I saw an alleyway. I couldn't wait. I nodded towards it. Yeah, that's perfect. I need to piss anyway, she said. We ducked down the alleyway and she started squatting next to a dumpster and started taking a powerful piss. Piss gushed from her cloaca. She lost her balance and fell sideways. Piss ran up and down her legs and torso as she continued pissing and struggling to get back up. I tried helping her up, but she was far too much mass. I fell on top of her and heard a slap as I landed on her piss-covered tank top. We immediately started tonguing. There were no lips involved. It was pure tongue. I felt small chunks of food and drug as my tongue moved and searched through her mouth. We started rolling around in the alleyway, and I could still hear her pissing. I wrestled my hand down her piss-soaked underwear and felt a thick, wiry plume of pubic hair. My little brown had slithered out of my jeans, and once I located her still dripping gap, I inserted my brown. I rolled her onto her massive back and, and pushed her knees back and started drilling like she had requested. Oh, what is that? Are they even people? I heard shouts from the streets as they peered down our alleyway, but I did, I did not dare stop. 
Let's give them a show, I said through gritted teeth. I drilled as hard and fast as I could while staring at her sloppy breasts. <laughs> My eyelids peeled back out of sight as I began climaxing. My mouth opened so wide that I heard my jaw dislocate and I drained my essence into this foul dragon. I deflated to half my size after I finished ejaculating and I could see concern in my prize's eyes. You all right? She mumbled. I am now I've been fed, I said, and I detracted my now limp little brown as I continued to sprinkle ejaculate on her heavy set thighs. I stood and walked away, left her rolling around in her own piss, hailed a taxi and drove home without even saying goodbye. <laughs> Fuck yeah. <laughs> oh my God, dude. Oh. There's so many levels to it. It just gets so fucked. Oh my God. So <laughs> they even people. <laughs> He so didn't descriptive. Even know. Oh man, oh. it's hot and sweaty in here. Oh now. my god, you are, sh you are. I'm shockingly wet. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Sure, oh, hell. I think. I think it's, it's time. time for some wisdom. Yeah, you're right. It's Michael's Bible. Oh. What are you arring at, Mister Brown? I thought you were going to say something else. Questions or something? No, I thought you were going to say bong break for some reason. Bong break! I'm already clang. It's time to hit you with a bit of wisdom. Michael, it could be. I am seeing now he is so angelic at times. He could well be a semi-god or a demigod, as they're known. I'm going to bring the Bible in. I've actually decided. Thank you. Or a Greek the actual God. copy. All right, let's let's um, let's jump straight to it. I haven't read this yet, but it's... I'm, I'm like, it's, it's changing the world. If you, adopt, if you adopt his teachings, you could be a better person. So I want you to really listen to this, you fucking disgusting fuck. Is this the their chair? Uh, this is uh, from the book of uh, What Who. Okay. <laughs> All right. Chapter four, verse 16 from the book of What Who. Everyone is a who. A who to you could be a you to that who. You are a who and a you. The only thing that changes is the who who's searching for you. So if you come across a who, just remember that you are a who to that who and are only a you to you, just as the who is a you to that who too. So just remember that who's and you's are the same and any who can become a friend to you. Big stars went shooting like this fast. That was the asteroids. Holy shit. And, wh and I, I guess what you're trying to say is that we are all equal beings and just because you don't know someone doesn't mean that you should love them any less than what you love yourself. And exactly, you can turn who's into you's, which means you can make friends. 110%. And if everyone lived by that, even the and if everyone lived by that, I'll tell you what, I would, I would be proud to walk around the streets and shake your hand. <laughs> well, let's do it then. All right. <laughs> it's working man it's, No that's powerful Shake my hand We just became that chapter Shake my hand Mr. Brown <laughs> What do you guys think? It's very good It's profound Is the word that I, I like the use. word What you said before Angelic mm. I think that's important That's right What do you think Mr. Brown? Oh, I had so to go hard. with that. I had to go with that fucking um, Nick. You've been fucking messaging her on Instagram. Oh, she Bachelor sent me a Brown? message, and I said, "Oh yeah, what hello. did it say exactly? Did you guys show each other it yourselves? No. Has this uh, progressed <laughs> to some sort of sexual relationship yet? No. All right, all right. I just said thank you for you know being a good sport. <laughs> oh, here we oh, go. That's so cute. That's like brown that. flirting sport. Thank you for being a good, a good sport. Because fucking to him is a sport. 
<laughs> See, I usually I usually look in this direction when I don't want to look at them, and I, I have to look straight at James and Christina. <laughs> It's making me. <laughs> it's, it's nice having a like a studio uh, audience. It's yeah. good, but this is the biggest studio audience we've ever had. <laughs> yeah, Posse's <laughs> usually the only one here, and he knows to just lie there. Yeah, look how <laughs> grumpy it is. Like, so hot over it is. <laughs> yeah, it is very hot in this oh, house, dude, man. You are drenched. Yeah. yeah. Why today is like hotter than usual? I think because it's the humidity or some shit. Sorry. Anyway, yeah. let's move right along to. <laughs> It's the comment of the week. Okay. All right. And uh, we've read all the comments like we always do. This could be a little reminder to maybe leave a comment now if you haven't already. All right? Yes. Yeah, wow. So go, uh, you can leave comment now. Who knows? You might get comment of the week because <sighs> we have a whole board of it now, or like a big white board of it. That's important. Oh, yeah. Do you want to see the comment of the week board? Yeah. I kind of do, baby. <laughs> There's a first comment of the week. Look at that they board. Probably can't read it. <laughs> probably can't it's, read it's that. It's this tiny fucking. It's hard because we've got to fit forty of them on there. Yeah, no, 30, 30, 39. Because we missed the first episode, so thirty-nine. Like I said. Yeah. There it is. <laughs> so you will be enshrined. Your comment could go down in glory. Oh. Forever, if you comment the right thing. So to take this opportunity. So there's Donut Films. He was number one. And it doesn't need to be the most liked comment. Yeah. That's only for questions, okay? It can be was. anything. That, yeah, that likes. one That one was the most liked. All right. God, man, I am sweating like so a it fucking... It could be that if we can't find any good ones. Man, I am disgusting. If I was single, there'd be no way. I, I like the hair. Yeah, I like the hair too. I reckon when you're older, you should grow wispy hair when you've got grey hair yeah look I'll definitely look into that for you man <laughs> yes that's gonna be great whiskey hair wispy whiskey <laughs> yeah you could pull Ready? um yeah so let's let's go let, look we decide yeah. the comment of the week just based on like there's a few factors alright there are a few factors and we're not gonna tell you because that's the beauty of it oh Continue, Mr. Brown. All right. Comment on the week came from the Cero. 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 I'm going to go with Cero. Yeah. Um, and he's referring to um, Matt's uh, little black book story yeah, from last the, week. The book where you write all the chicks that you fucked. Yeah. Um, he says, uh, sounds like the chick Matt Brown ha had his Darren's miso. <laughs> no, you didn't say had properly. Oh, sounds sorry. like the chick that yeah, I gotcha. Matt had. Sounds like the chick Matt Brown had. <laughs> Is Darren's miso. <laughs> yeah, I can see that. And when we read that comment, we thought, a new character is born. Well, he adds that. He said, could you do a prank call with the drunk pregnant lady's oh, voice, please? I've just got gold. the prank call we're going to do. You're going to be that chick, by the way. Her name is Rhonda. Her name's Rhonda. R-H-O-N-D-A-H-H. -H. Okay. And you're going to call up a pub and ask for the pokey area and say that you left your purse or something valuable. I left my wallet there. You left, you left some change. She has got my wallet there. <laughs> yes. And she'll even laugh like Darren cunt. Yeah, okay. She, could she have a different laugh? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's just a physical laugh. They don't yeah. It just gaps in like the <laughs> fucking phone call. Oh, look, it's a work in progress. Yeah, Who knows okay. what her laugh will be? <laughs> yes. Oh, I can't wait for the prank call. Can we call up a pub? So a big, fat, pregnant woman who's drunk all the How time. How old is she? 38. Same as Matt Brown. I'm not 38. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, congratulations to Sarah. So they'll go on the board. Yeah, yeah. So we'll snip that out, right? And we'll sticky tape that to the board. <laughs> you can have it on that board. Look, cool. you're on board. Dude, you, you could be on that board. All you got to do is write a cool comment like that. And that is a cool comment, not because it has many likes, but because it has inspired another character. And prank call. And now we want it. What, what should we do for the... <laughs> <laughs> what should we do for the person who wins best comment of the year? They will get an all expenses paid trip to your house and they will get to live with Matt Brown for two weeks. Forget I asked. 
I think we'll, we'll, it, it will combine it with Bachelor Brown somehow. I hate this fucking chair. Oh. <laughs> Look how small and blue it is. <laughs> it's blue. <laughs> it we get cute. couch. So oh, we live like kings. Brown gets small, no, small I've, dirt stool. I realize I want a fucking like a footrest. Yeah, like my ass has got cunt. Yeah, see, I don't want to go on your sweat. Yeah, it's baby. It's fucking like so wet. <gasps> we'll, we'll get you a poof. Oh, is it Bachelor Brown? It time? is time. Bachelor Brown, 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 Brown. Bachelor Brown, 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 Brown. I like Bachelor Brown, 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 Brown. Oh, he's standing over me. All right, we have we have got some entries. Matt is is talking to and considering dating the girl that we hooked him up with last week. So it's already working. No, girls. If you want Matt to be in your life and just get to know him, just get to know him. You can date him. Like who knows if you're single out there and, and Tinder doesn't work and going out doesn't work. And there's all oh, boys keep cheating on you. Mm, try a different way. You don't know until you've spoken to it. Oh. Give, us, give us your fucking phone number and a little piece of info about yourself. And you have an online date here Live with Matt and see the sparks, the cow fly. Okay, I can see it. Yeah. I'm excited. Oh, I'm excited too. I'm not. All right, let's have a looky here. Eh? You upset me today with your little post. <laughs> oh yeah, I can go ahead and delete that now. Eh? <laughs> Do you? We might get more. The num this could be your wife. That is so true. I don't know. I don't want to. Why don't Imagine you want that. a wife? Imagine you, just want you met your wife. around for the rest of your life. And you want a family, huh? You Some meet kids? your wife on our podcast, the Marty and Michael Fully Actual podcast. Look, we've had people Imagine get married to your kids. We've had people get married from our subscription Ooh. website. Wow, Matt, did you know that people have dated from our subscription wow. website? We bring people together. That's what we do. Have they sent that through? Can you send that? By the way, we want to see his reaction. All right, um, this is our first entry for today for the Bachelor Brown segment. And uh, Matt, I'd, I'd be very interested to hear your thoughts about this. I'm not. Hey, I'm Eleanor. <laughs> she said, I'm a vet tech in Brisbane, a have a dog and a cat and love drinking and hanging with mates. So do you love animals, man? Hang on. Man, that sounds like a fucking, like she sounds down to earth. She She's maternal. She has animals. Yeah, everyone loves animals. What's your favorite Not everyone, animal? Man. I like her name. Eleanor is a very nice name. Yeah, yeah. Ellen. Yeah, exactly. It's a very lovely name. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and call her. Oh, really? And then um, we'll see if there's a spark here. See if there's some chemistry. You have to call him. Matt. What's your favorite animal? Yes, Tell her. Save it. Save Tell it. her that it's like a, a skink or some shit. S skunk, you mean? No, a skink. A little lizard. Um, all right, Eleanor didn't answer. So um, Brooke Davies gets her shot now. Uh, so we're moving on. Matt has no time for women who don't keep their word, oh. Eleanor. And Can't. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Um, you Matt, cheated on him. Yeah. That's basically well, cheating Matt, on him. You you just said off air you fucking hate her for not answering. And I get it. I get it. All right, so now we're going to move on to Brooke Davies. And she says, happy to take the challenge. Everyone loves morning brown or even afternoon brown. Huh? That's pretty good. A bit of flirtatious already. That's your favorite. <laughs> hey? Brown. Mm, you'd love, you'd love to give her a, a, a morning brown. Am I right? Leave hey? me alone. <laughs> Let's call her. Mm, all right. Calling Brooke Davies. Hello. Hello. Am I speaking with Brooke? Yes. Hey, Brooke, it's uh, Marty and Michael and Matt um, Brown here Sit from down, the Matthew. Fully Actual podcast. Do you have um, a, sp a spare five minutes we could trouble you? Yeah, go for it, boys. Yeah, so right, I've got you on speaker here with the one and only muscular Matt Brown. I'm oh, not even now, muscular. Brown. Oh, now, the Brown, um, we sh how should we do this? The Brown would like to tell you a little bit about himself. For about 30 seconds, Matt Brown would now love to share with you the things about himself that he feels is most important to let you know if you were going to ever date each other. Go, Mr. Brown. Brooke, I'm being forced to do this. Matt, on, Dude, say up. something you're cool. Up, Matt. Be a prince. Come on, Matt. Jesus, you're where's supposed your, to be charming me where's, here. Where's your charm? Be a prince. Where's your confidence? 
<laughs> Tell her you've got a horse. <laughs> Come on, Maddie. You could sing me the Morning Brown song. Oh, that on. would be even better. The oh, look, Morning Brooke, Brown song? Look, Brooke, he's a, he's a little nervous, I think. We've got um, a little studio audience in today. He's a little nervous. Maybe we, it would be easier if you start by just saying Hang some on. of your hobbies and interests... And then see if there's something you guys can maybe have a chat about. I don't know. Let's go. Matt, what footy team do you go for? Fucking talk to her. How? What? Hang on. What football are you talking about? What football? No, well, see, I'm in Victoria. So So you're AFL. AFL. Well, if it was (laughs) AFL. (laughs) Hang on. Wait. Whereabouts in Victoria are you from? I'm in central Victoria. Okay, cool. In Ballarat. Ooh, yeah, cool, what's cool. Having a good conversation. <laughs> Ooh, keep going, keep going, man. Um, I don't know. I'd probably be. Uh, I think I was Bulldogs when I was a little yeah, boy. Yeah, he's a fucking oh, doggy he's boy. Doggy. <laughs> he's a fucking doggy yeah. boy. Okay. I actually worked. I actually worked at the Bulldogs grand final. So there you go, Matt. You could go to the football final with Brooke if you wanted to. No, you could help her work there. Now, Brooke, what type, do you have any sort of, and, and please tell me if, if I'm uh, pushing the envelope here, do you have any sort of sexual fantasies oh. that you play out in your head with the Brown? Because I know he's got hundreds. And once you get him oh, 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 to drop please. his wall of uncomfortability, he will be a fountain of fucking sexual innuendo. It's the bald head that does it for me. Yeah, I just yeah. What do you want to do? I just want to hold on to him oh, and I want to yeah, rub that. Rub it. Yeah, spit like on it. He's like a Buddha. Oh, spit, see, that'd be even Give him a little fucking spit on it, cunt. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, there he's, oh. he's having a chuckle. What about you could try and put your head in her? He could try and have, yeah, I wonder. Take fisting to uh, the next level. Balding. Or no, we'll call it heading. Um, and what about children, Brooke? What, would you want children one day? Well, see, the problem She's here is I some. already have four. Holy so Matt doesn't need to do a thing. Oh, Matt, shit, there you dude. go, dude. The children, have, the children have already been had. I'm a, <laughs> <laughs> I'm a, I'm a father now. <laughs> All right, come on. All right, Matt, um, what, do you, what do you want to say to Brooke? Look, you need to try and connect with her on a deeper level here. Let's cut the small talk, baby. Sing her a poem. Let's get deep and personal. What do you want to know about her soul, baby? Come on, Matt! <laughs> You're blowing this! Dude, come on. He oh. wishes he was blowing this. <laughs> <laughs> All right, oh. Matt. Matt, is this, is this going well for you or not? Be honest. Do you love her? I don't know. I've never even met her. Oh, Mark, how could I love fast. someone I've take never his, met? Like I'm KFC so sorry. Here. I'm loving it. I'm so sorry, Brooke. He is so flustered right now. I've never seen him like this. He's all red in the face, shaking his head. He's barely saying a word. He's a bit bashful. So That's maybe, right, Maddie, I'll make it all better, mate. Yeah. So Ooh. maybe it would be easier. Oh, that sounded comforting. Yeah. yeah. Comfort. Ting. <laughs> <laughs> it's the cum hitting the fort, making the ting. <clears throat> um, look, maybe we, we will get um, Matt Brown to follow you off his personal Instagram. <laughs> and um, <laughs> maybe probably it would, follow her already. Maybe, oh, it would, maybe it would help break the ice if you guys like send each other some DMs to begin with. And look, yeah. Brooke, at the end, are you you are you not seeing anyone? Obviously, no, I'm not actually. All right, yeah, well, look, if it. if if you are in, you are now in contention for. Um, the Bachelor Brown winner. Like, you are one of the contestants now. So, at the end of the year, if you are chosen by the Brown as the top three finalists, we will fly you up from Victoria. Fucking not fly people Fly you up from up. Victoria. Yeah, we're going to do the show. you could potentially win Matt Brown as a boyfriend. For a night. Oh, my God. It's a dream come true. All right. Well, um, we'll get him to add you on Instagram straight away. Matt, get your fucking... Oh, we can't. The phone's over there. The phone's over there. But it will straight away after this. Um, yeah, so Brooke, just Who do you like more out, so far? Look out for his DM, Brooke or okay? Nick? Thank you very much for your chat, Brooke. Thanks, boys. It was good chatting, Brooke. Thank you, Brooke. Oh, oh man, he's oh, stuck in. He's, he's stuck in with the good boys out. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> shit. Dude, you guys There's, are together. There is no. <laughs> that is together. There's no <laughs> way. <laughs> <We're> dating. <laughs> Don't move in. I'm yet. putting it down now. There's no fucking way we're bringing three people up. <laughs> no, well, no, and they make a sound. Yeah, yeah, they make a sound. And I don't know what's going to come like out. No, is the one you get to have. No, Look, we're Matt. not doing that. Look, Matt, 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 <laughs> Matt. 
Are you single right now? You need to change what you do. Otherwise, you'll, you can't expect a different result and not try something different, baby. Well, Look at us. We're happily in relationships. Ow. We can help you, man. Oh. We can help you, man. Right? Well, yeah, I reckon. Now, who do you like more out of Nick and Brooke so far? They're both very lovely. But from how, the sound of them. What about like the conversation What's the instant, like, like connection? What's that like? Do you, what's like, the, is it love at first hearing? Not sight, hearing? I don't know. I, uh, it's very hard. Oh! <laughs> it's very hard. <laughs> All right. So, I'm on to the next segment. So the, I don't know where you guys are. But so both of them, you're saying, are potential mates What about you? like a Mormon marriage and you can have both? No. Look, both of these ladies have... Um, been mothers so i feel like maybe you could be a potential uh, instant father would when, you would you be ready for when that? this works oh out? yeah if you meet the right girl you, yeah of course you'd yeah. matter you'd if be a father like overnight not overnight what would you call what would you call a learning process what would you call her kids yeah you have to come up with new names <laughs> and four. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. Oh, that is the bachelor brown segment and if you would like to have a chat to, to matt brown please Keep DM out, DMing us your numbers and a little bit about uh, yourself. And no shit, we are not joking. We will fly the top three finals. No, we're not the fucking ones you doing get it. To pick. The we're not to pick flying them. anyone out here at Mate, all. Which ones you like? Matt, you, you don't get you a might, say anymore. Okay, right? you haven't got the connection with him now, but imagine the 38 after this. I want you to be happy, okay? There, I said it. I want you to find <laughs> someone. <laughs> <laughs> so we will do this our way and if it does not work then by golly we've done our best but but to i'm try. gonna make damn sure we give it a red hot go for fuck's sake <laughs> i just want you to be happy <laughs> you're following us around we're all in couples you're following us around looking at your fucking porn makes me sick well this is how we'll fix it Imagine that. <laughs> Makes me fucking sick. We have to get one to move in by the end of the year. <laughs> fucking, what are you talking about? No one's going to move in. Marriage is too much, I know, but moving in is nothing. You haven't even moved in yet. Oh. Yeah, well, that's why it's at the end of the year for you. And I have almost. Well, I am yeah, disgusting. You're close. I'm sorry about that comment. Um, but yeah, I reckon end of the, year, the one that wins has to stay at your house for three days. And we could film a documentary. A brown, oh, fuck a brown no. documentary. We can see how much <laughs> brown you mentioned. We can see how much. <laughs> we can see how much mints a human body can take well, before it, it warps out of shape. You know what's? You know what sucks Swollen is that sperm. is that I hate this entire idea, but it would suck if there was somebody genuinely worth dating in there. Well, well yeah, it would suck. suck but I don't try. I don't fucking trust the process. Uh, your no, the your process future is what Matt, makes the trust. W- would you like it if your future wife? had the balls, had oh. the courage, the, <laughs> the confidence guts. to come forward and apply via a show like this. And she's a legend. No. And she has an awesome sense of humor because she's listening to our podcast. No. Wouldn't you want that from a No, I'll tell you why I don't want that. And you guys should all know this is I fucking hate reality TV shows. And this is, this is bordering reality TV. <laughs> well, no, but it would only it'd be for the website. Oh, no. Yeah, of course. <laughs> Of course it would. What if we pay you? way to get you subscribed, baby. No, what? look, girls out there, look, don't, don't pay even... attention. He'll come around. We, we've got another fucking 35 weeks of this. Please <laughs> send in your phone number and a little bit about yourself. And who knows? Mr. Brown could be the man of your dream mints down your dress. <laughs> it's exciting. All it's right. definitely let's, exciting. Let's get going. Man, that was a hot segment, baby. Yeah. I'm sweating bullets, man. <laughs> yeah, more Dude. so than normal. <laughs> 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 Bong break! Oh, no. <laughs> All right, it's time for questions and questions. If you want us to answer your question, comment a question. We answer the most likes questions as well as what the questions we think are the funniest. Sometimes questions get lots of likes, but we don't answer them because we've already answered them many, many times. So if you're wondering, oh, why the fuck didn't Matt Brown read out my question, that fucking, fucking pig, 
That's oh. probably wise because we've answered it before. Anyway, uh, so have a scroll through, see which questions you like, and give them a like if you want to and see what we have to say about it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Very important people. Very important people. All right. Oh. Um, Donut Films is on fire. He's got top question this week. <laughs> Fucking hell, Donut Films. <laughs> he He's, just knows. He won Cow of the Week last, last week. week. All right. All right. <laughs> question for the podcast. How come Julian always hits Michael but never hits Marty? I think um, oh. Michael is much better at um, stirring Julian, first of yeah, all. He's so. fucking... Oh. <laughs> Michael, Michael knows exactly how to push Julian's buttons. He also Most invites people. the chase. Loves to attack, the, like throw an attack at him and then... Yeah, like I will that. buy it. Like I'll sometimes even have a hit... Yeah, and, and, Michael and, and Michael and Julian are similar in stature, so it makes sense for him to attack uh, the weaker one first. <laughs> so many, many reasons. And also, um, you know, Julian is like a f- fucked little son, sh- and he shouldn't be attacking his father. Mm, that's a big no-no. <laughs> <laughs> Next question is from G.R. Freeman. Um, would you rather... It's Kathy Freeman's husband. How'd you know that? I spoke to him via phone call. Fire? Phone call. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> would you fire? Would you rather be bummed by a bloke or fisted by a woman? That's, That's not hard. a bad one. Yeah, it's tough. Because the well, fisting okay, would do a I go lot of woman, damage. but like with small hands. Yeah, because her hand wouldn't be that small. You'd need actually. a little woman. Yeah, and fucked is like that's like you know that's really. It'd probably be far more traumatizing than just having a hand up your well, ass. If it's a girl, like I'm pretty sure, like we've fisted each other before. <laughs> I, don't See, I don't remember that one, man. But oh, there's we've some been videos. close. There's some videos of it. Oh, yeah. we've been close. <laughs> <laughs> no, only for a laugh. Though. Nothing sexual, man. <laughs> yeah, fuck, not <laughs> fist yet. But yeah, like small hands, maybe. Yeah, and no, I'd probably, I'd hands. probably go a small lubed up hand, and I'd want her to make this shape with her hand. Oh, true. I'm like thinking that. that that wouldn't work. Oh, that would be far worse. You want to even flatten it out so it's just a slit. So that would like be a, quite wide. Makes a slit. <laughs> All right. Well, what about that? She ducks two fingers like that. There, perfect fist. Oh, I didn't think about. It. Yeah, you you squash up the yeah, fingers and you zip tie them at the end like that. Ah, cramp. And then you just. Lube the end. It's like a big cock, <laughs> Mr. Oh. Brown. It's like a big cock entering your colon. <laughs> mm. What would Next. you do? <laughs> Me? Yeah. Why? Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't want his birds here, and oh, what he's what his answer tough. is. It's tough. It's a good one. That's a really good. What would you rather? I'm just scared. I'd, I'd rather go fist, but I'm just scared. How big that fist is going to be? Yeah, well, you can say, oh, I guess it's details, but I'd say mm. fist, but if it's small girl. Yeah, on average, girls are quite small. Now, nah, fuck it. I'll get damn banged by, by a guy. Dude. Fuck there it. There you go. Change it up. Wow, that's like, phew. All right. Confronting. Just picture. By small little man. <laughs> no, I guess question and shit. Yeah, yeah maybe a it. small little man. Yeah, actually. <laughs> fuck, it depends the way you look at it. This yeah, is getting it, weird because yeah, a dick is quite sm- a dick is probably you a could lot like smaller. get like imagine a dude with a micro penis you wouldn't feel anything I I could probably s- stretch my asshole so wide that the dick wouldn't you even wouldn't touch, touch the sides it, yeah. I just feel regret you could do you know what I was trying to say there I'll show you I reckon you could even get like a normal sized dick and in there without like it touching mm. that's a sign <laughs> or or a condom as well a condom put just a, put a condom around the cock. Then the cock skin does not slide along your colon <laughs> skin. <laughs> Next. Next to Brown. I, I want to move the on. Scenes. I want to move on. Cock and colon is very cool. Cock. <laughs> cock. Can you say colon? Cock. Cock. Colon? Cock. 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 Let me record that for everyone. Yeah, I don't think you can do it while we're recording. Please. Are you oh. sure? I don't know. Try it. Cock. 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 <laughs> I like the way you Cock. finish it. Cock. Oh, you don't Cock. have headphones. <laughs> you don't have headphones. You'll have to listen to it later. <laughs> it's- 
<laughs> All right, next question. <laughs> He's broken. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Michael saw the true pain in my eyes. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Are we still on question one? Oh, no, fuck, that's okay. question four or five there. Here we go. Cock. <laughs> <laughs> Next question is from Bryce Carter. Michael, have you had any fans come to your house before? I've had people come here for like Halloween. Uber Eats? And I had to give them treats, but I had no lollies. But people have, have uh, well, people drive by. Yeah. Actually, true. Yeah, they drive by. People drove past yours. Yeah, yeah, people drive by. Like then they fucking. It pisses me off. They slow down and stare, like I'm some fucking zoo animal. <laughs> <laughs> looks out at him like, what the fuck? You fucking get out of here! I say, go on, get, get out of here! Yeah. Get out of here! It's my fucking patch of dirty, you can't. <laughs> fucking step foot on there, you fucking step foot on my family, you can't. <laughs> you don't want to see me get rolled up, can't. Fucking get off my lawn, cunt! <laughs> well, fuck, come down there, cunt! You fucking dog, bitch! Don't look at me, cunt! Holy shit, yeah, you do get quite aggressive. <laughs> oh, 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 <laughs> Calvin. <laughs> Calvin, Calvin. Next question is from Swampbox69. Would you boys ever get your partners involved in a scientific video or a prank video? Obviously, Matt can't, because he's alone. Oh. Oh. <laughs> See, you need us. Anyway, um, yeah. What what could we what could we do to them? Um, we could pretend. Oh, I could call Amber and say that you've died. <laughs> you could do that to Mon. <laughs> Holy shit! That is pretty good. Our acting would have to be on point. <gasps> Amber, fuck! Oh my <laughs> god! I, I didn't even. <laughs> Michael's dead. He's died. We did a video. It went wrong. <laughs> Yeah, fuck. It is hard. Oh man, that's actually that. That would. That's probably really it's, bad. That's fucked. Oh, yeah, it's you, you, you. He did does that all the time. <laughs> he fucking tells us he's been in a bad car accident because oh, he's bored. He did it to me. He called me and said, "Hey, dude, uh, Marty's been in a bad car accident. I'm on my way to podcast. I'm oh, pretty sure." Yeah, actually, I haven't done it for ages though. Yeah, yeah it's, it's been very, like a good. It's like a, it's like it almost makes you angry after because you genuinely. Why well, pause like, oh, for us? No. Had a long pause and then I realized that he's fucking with me. <laughs> I'm like the boy who cried wolf. Wolf! <laughs> <laughs> Next question is from the drummer chick. Um, what's something people seem to misunderstand about you guys? People seem to think that we're like dumb. Yeah. <laughs> people think that we're like some of the things we do, oh, you put your bodies through that, you idiots. Like, look at these idiots. <laughs> Stupid. Because Man, like they have like no, <laughs> no freaking idea. No idea how fucking smart we are. They have no <laughs> fucking idea the level of our fucking genius. Intelligence. No one fucking does. Man, we just sit there and we come up with oh, shit that just like changes the world, cunt. We write it down sometimes. We I guess. write it down sometimes. Sometimes we just don't. We let the thought pass. <laughs> yeah, we, we let it pass and we forget one. about it. Because we know it'll come back around, baby. So that's how the world spins and shit. But yeah, like people think that seem to think that we are like stupid as fuck when really it, it's, it's really quite the opposite. Show them. Horizontal rotation. Vertical Horizontal rotation. Vertical axis. Angles. And that he's just demonstrating there the mass of a pillow and it's exactly the same throughout while it's suspended in air. And like people are like, what, what, what is he talking about? And like, I'm not going to get into it, but, but he just gave you a lesson on physics and you didn't even fucking know it. Now, when you throw a pillow around, you know that it'll be on its vertical axis if you so throw it at that angle. angle. Fucking idiots. Next question. Did you hear that, Matt? That was pretty good. Hey. Yeah, see? Dumbfounded and single. Cock. 
<laughs> oh no! That was the cut at the end. Oh man, very good. Can Me- you say bitch? Oh yeah, we'll bitch. get one. <laughs> Cock bitch. After our cold days, <laughs> listen to the way he ends. Bitch. <laughs> bitch. Bitch. <laughs> fucking bitch. <laughs> get out of my house, you fucking bitch. <laughs> Bitch, <laughs> you've always been on point with your bitches. It's good. It's yeah, the German. It's the German tongue. has changed the angle of my tongue signatures. I saw 100%. Marty get angry at a girl in the street once because her boyfriend was trying to fight us, and he called her a bitch, and it was perfect. And she shut up. Was it with away. the ch- in the end? Bitch, it, oh, it was pretty. It was what like, was her boyfriend trying to fight? So us? he was trying to fight us, and he th- he he didn't realize, and like that we were we we're walking away, and he tried to start a fight with us and we turned around and walked back at him and she was like why didn't you guys just go away at us and, and Marty just turned around and said we were trying to leave you bitch <laughs> straight to her face because oh. they started it and yeah he just his bitch was just perfect and she just shut up she didn't say another word it was beautiful thank the you bitch silence thank you Matt Brown probably gonna get cancelled now but yeah probably you. violence well we did turn back around to fight him after he was walking away so we were trying that, to walk away that was sort of silly of us but, we, so we conf- we wanted to fight him. No, no, he was he was like yelling slurs at us, and we turned around and we weren't going to take that. No, 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 yeah, we have a we have a line, and if you cross that line, um, yeah, we, we become quite aggressive. Let me tell you. Yeah, yeah, I've seen it. And the funny thing was, we, we s- have we have <laughs> in the past. Look, people haven't crossed that line recently, but yeah, I can still see you that fire behind your eyes. Yeah, true, I can see. In the right situation. Headbutting <laughs> that man. You headbutted that man. I didn't hit him hard. Yeah, yeah. Not hard. The funniest part of that story is, is we got in a cab and went to another side of the city and lined up at a nightclub and they got out of the cab and went to the same nightclub right next to us. And so we were like, oh, I guess we'll be nice and just apologize for getting into a, you know, a debacle. Argument, a debacle being with heroes? Them. And we're like, oh, hey, guys, we're going to the same club. Let's just go, like, let's just all apologize. Let's just and smooth move out on. jets. And they were so filthy. Like, they're like, oh, they yeah, didn't accept yeah. it. They wouldn't even look us in the face. They're just like, yeah, yeah, whatever. And they're just, we're like, we're the, best, we're the best men what in a Brisbane. fucking idiot. Imagine being with your girlfriend and starting a fight with like six dudes. Like, idiot. Fucking idiot. Yeah. Anyway. Well, I guess he had reasons. He probably did have reasons. He had reasons. No, no, he didn't. Okay. We were we were just laughing and being us, and he. I think it started with him just yelling at us for no reason. No, oh, fuck him, man. Fuck him to death. Please. It was actually James's fault. Anyway, let's go. Um, <laughs> our next question is from Joshua Hughes. <laughs> it was James. <laughs> Holy shit, it was. <laughs> you remember? Oh. <laughs> yeah. I, remember. I have vague snippets of time where there's a one picture of image, and I can think of that but there's no real memory i'll fill in the gaps later mm, um you sick fuck <laughs> mm. um, next question is from joshua hughes um michael which were you more concerned about the nail gun in the calf or your rectum falling to pieces rectum rectum yeah rectum was the very calf scary. like was just it's like your leg yeah and like once you pull the nail out there's a bit of blood like, it's oh, a flesh it's wound worst yeah. case scenario gets tetanus and dies in a few weeks or years would years. be nice that's and that's worst case scenario. So we're like, yeah, far more concerned. The rectum was like, I don't want a shit bag. I'd rather die. I kind of wish you did have it now, dude. Oh, well, I could have died. Oh, God. oh, oh man, imagine if you had a shit bag on him at, at all. It times. wouldn't feel nice. I couldn't do sport. I'd rip it off all the time. Would it come out? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'd have yeah, to yeah. go back in the hospital. Yeah, every day. <laughs> <laughs> All right, final question um, is from Peter Hunt. Oh, shit. Um, will you guys ever do a live podcast this year? Can we see Matt Brown picking up a beast live? Oh, I'd love to see that too. I have seen it. Oh, I've seen him working the clubs, oh, shimmying yeah, around, yeah. shimmying around on the oh. dance floor, locking eyes with others. Oh, yeah, it's a sight to behold. Yeah, we definitely want to do a live podcast this year. We're doing one right now. Yeah, holy shit. Yeah, we've got an audience of two and a half. Man, I wonder how nerve-wracking that would be to have like hundreds of people in front of us. Oh, dude, you will have to control yourself. Yeah, I wouldn't be able to I'll say have to, shit. Yeah, I can't probably smoke weed. Oh, no, we'll definitely do our bubble. I reckon like. the adrenaline... <laughs> <laughs> don't you reckon the adrenaline of it all will probably get you going anyway? I don't know. Yeah, maybe. I don't know. Like, what if they didn't laugh at shit and then yeah. you'd just be like... 
Even the best comedians bomb. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And then you have to sit there for an hour thinking, no one laughed at that. And you're going to have hecklers. Yeah, everyone will be drunk oh, and true. shit. Yeah. So we have to have like um, a uh, hose. Or a naughty corner. Yeah, they're just going to be like, just do something to Michael, hit him or something. That's <laughs> so true. That's I can what's gonna see happen. that happening. Cody's stuck in here. No, they'll, they'll throw a glass at me. Yeah. I'll get glass. Yeah, you'll get glass. <laughs> <laughs> and then it'll be on YouTube. Comedian gets glass live on stage. <laughs> oh. Oh. oh, man. All oh, right. Man who eats shit. <clears throat> Let's um, move right along, and it is time for. German Achtjebrich! German Achtjebrich! I have the spoon. I'm ready. Everyone at home, wh why don't you play along and comment how many right you get? <laughs> <laughs> That's good interaction <laughs> shit. Well done. <laughs> All right, let me get my jaw ready. Number one, German or gibberish? Fangen mit Titten spielen! Oh, you're being Irish. You always do this shit. Say it once more. Fangen mit Titten spielen! Oh, it's really hard. I think it is. You're trying to confuse me and make Irish up. That's actually German. I reckon. That's German. I'm going to go with it's not German. All right. Um, we have... Uh, it is German. I knew Fuck. it. You were pretending Michael, to I, be well, I had to go against you. Michael, would you like to have a stab at what it means? Fungen mit Titten spielen. Fungi in my eye. Means um, play catch with tits. Oh, that was close. That's not a bad guess, though. I am tits. I can Body see why you'd say that today. All right, number two. German or gibberish? Greifen better auf Schulz! Oh, he's. Greifen better auf Schulz! Yeah, no, that's not German. You're pretending to be German. Yeah, it's not German. Auschwitz. He's saying that word that's from... Auschwitz. Auschwitz. He's trying to pretend to be like a concentration camp. Auschwitz. Same fucking thing. All right. You're not. All right. You're, not you're, you're, that's you're, why. Bo you're both correct. Yes. That uh, is gibberish. Would you like to take a stab at what it means? It's gibberish. It's gibberish. Yeah, it's gibberish. <laughs> right. All right. Number three. Yes, Christina. I know you hate the cord. I can <laughs> see you talking about the cord. Everyone else... Hasn't spotted it yet, but now they have that I've pointed it out, which is probably a bad move on my part. And now I will get a connector to make it longer. We should get wireless, be like space. Man, I would Yeah, I thought that, about maybe. it. They'd be expensive though, I think. Yeah, well. Sorry. Sorry. If Sorry. Man Cave Escape yeah. keeps paying us, then who knows? Maybe one day we can afford anything that we That's want. Space cake headphones. We're astronaut suits. Oh, yes. <laughs> Black Pomper Graz nicht. Black Pomper Graz nicht. You're trying to be a bit Irish and you're being more discreet. That is German. I'm going to go not German. That isn't German. Isn't. Isn't. Fuck, I was too confident. It's too all. Too all. It's too all. Too all. Too all. Too all. Going into the fourth, it's too all. Okay. Laufen mit gebrochenen Beinen! Yeah, that's Irish. Laufen mit gebrochenen Beinen! Oh, wait, no, laughen is definitely German. No, it's not. You're trying to... It's not German. But you, what do you think, Bran? You can choose first. Yeah, I don't think it's German. Yeah, I have to go with that. It's not. It is... No, it is. It is German. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Both wrong. So we got one more. Yeah. One, it's two all and there's one left. You have to go oh, wait, you can both have a guess at what that means. Laufen mit gebrochenen Beinen. It's about laughing in the at the pub with your mates. Pushing your dog out the door. It is running with broken legs. Oh. Picture it. So close. Picture it. Running is laughing. Laufen. Laufen. <laughs> laufen. 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 Fick mich, du Arschloch! Du Hure! Du Schlampe! <laughs> what? Why did you... <laughs> okay, last one. Last one. Zerbrochenes Glas lecken! Zerbrochenes Glas lecken! 
No, no way. Let go. What's that? <laughs> That's fucking ridiculous. <laughs> just so you know, if you were wrong about that, that is incredibly racist. Yeah. So I'm gonna just it, to save face. I'm be. gonna say it's German. It's not German. It's German. You're gonna Might say be. it is German. Yeah. He's saying it's not. Well, let me tell you that it is German. You are fucking. You're doing the twists of yeah, Irish. It's a roller coaster of language, baby. You know how I, I picked jump it. On. Jump on, jump on, everyone. I don't want to jump on it. Here's how I picked it. <laughs> All right, get the spoon done. All right. <laughs> yes, three, two. Oh, before you do it, um, someone said they're gonna make us a wooden spoon and send it to us for oh, these. Thank punishments. you so much. Honestly, thank you so much from the bottom of my heart. Yeah, thank God, you. Who gives a shit? Yeah, it is just a wooden spoon. <laughs> All right. By the way, that means um, lick broken glass. Hmm. Prepare the leg. Oh, just time. For Prepare the leg. <laughs> just time for your punishment. Hack away. Hack away. I'm in the mood for pain. How dare you not know the German language? Oh, no. Say I sound Irish. <laughs> More anger. Oh. More anger. No. No. Please, Say please. those words. How possibly be Kill him. Mm. I'm More sorry. Anger. Ah. Oh, my ah. God. It's on fire. <laughs> oh, fucking hell. Okay, I'm done oh. with that. Ah. Oh. Oh. Don't touch it. Oh him. man, I'm so Dude. glad that's not me right now. I'm oh. so glad. Okay. I'm regretting that that happens to me, but today it's not. Oh, it's starting oh. to sting. Oh, oh dude, goose. you've made Look it lump up. Look at the goosebumps on it. <laughs> Oi! <laughs> Don't touch it! I really loosened my wrist oh, on that one. Oh, that, you haven't made lumps, lumps go on Yeah, I think you need a, you need a bit of a slap, dude. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I'll hold it now. That okay. was a hard hit, baby. All right. Oh, oh man. That made me tired. Next segment, we have relationship advice. And um, we're only going to do like two of these because we've been going for a long time. So, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. First one, we have an entry from someone who would like to remain anonymous. <clears throat> Yeah, g'day boys. Want to keep this one anonymous and that, but yeah, I've got fucking uh, what's called uh, problems and that with finding a new bitch. Ha <laughs> ha. Yeah, I still write palms to a beat about my last girl. I guess you could call them raps or fucking whatever. Ha <laughs> ha. Yeah, but I'll never show her. I just perform them to the new girls, and they always seem to leave. And that I was just wondering on some tips to keep new girls around, even though I still cry nearly daily about the last one. Ha ha ha. You stab, kiss, spin around, hug me, but don't leave me. Stab. And that is an anonymous um, DM that we got sent. Um, it sounds so familiar. so much like so Jillian. Familiar, really? <laughs> well, yeah, I guess it does sort of sound like Jillian. Okay. Well, I reckon for new girls, you just have to you have to start a podcast. You have to be the producer of the podcast. Um, introduce a segment um, where they do like a I don't know some sort of have amazing friends that find them for you dating around yourself and then um, try and funnel new girls in that way that would be my advice and have a competition at the end of the year oh, for the we're not having a fucking three. competition at the end of the year what What are you They're talking sleeping about sleeping at your house it's oh. a brown new mentry for three days <sighs> Matt you can have three You're bachelorettes only allowed in one room squatting on your cock and then moving on squat move squat move squat move in some sort of disgusting circle where you mince in all three of them <laughs> Can we record squat move, squat move, squat move? Oh my God. <laughs> squat move. What the fuck is... Squat move. <laughs> squat move. <laughs> oh. Anyway. oh, shit. Um, Any more relationship advice that we need to give? Oh, there's one here. Um, oh, read it out, Brown. Read it out. All right. That is not what it says. I fell in love with a girl I used to work with, ultimately ruined me and ending up moving back home. <laughs> I even had her with my whole family for Christmas. You had her? Yeah, I had her. And that was when I found out she was sleeping with other dudes. Pretty full on downward spiral since then. Wait, so he was with her? He was with her. He even took her to Christmas with the family. And then he found out she was if with other dudes. If it's official, then yeah, I guess you, you got to hey, break up with her. Hey, that sucks. Okay, that sucks. But you need to give There's yourself more to a bit of time and you need to move on. There's more. She was a bitch. <laughs> she was a fucking bitch. And that's good you're not with a fucking bitch. 
Well, what's the worst? It could the, be the advice that he's asking. Save though the advice is oh, like, he's not finished. Um, yeah, she might save it somehow. Imagine if she took him to like Fiji or something. Yeah, holy shit, I love Fiji, man. Yeah, exactly. He's, he says, other than sleeping with, oh, I'm guessing it's a he. Yeah, other than sleeping with other people, um, what would you do to distract yourself? My old distraction was gym, but I've lost motivation. He goes, so I'm back feeling like shit. Distract oh. yourself with family. an old sport that you love. Yeah, yeah, like that you played as a kid. Get, get some hobbies and you don't have to like the first hobby you do man try multiple hobbies mm, Matt yeah. what do you do for hobbies I collect basketball cards collect basketball cards like, cut that Connor don't do that why <laughs> no okay. no leave that in Connor people need Ooh, to know that oh, about I Matt Brown and people might even send basketball cards in you don't oh, know I that. hope so I hope so exactly right. yeah destiny. send me basketball cards I would be I very thankful get back into the gym if you can because that sort of healthy habit or, or do some better. exercise that's more fun or something yeah Eat? You could probably eat. You could better. probably eat. No, nah, eat. I'm. Um, oh, eating's here no, I'm we talking go. Talking about old mate. Yeah, eating's dangerous. Like you can eat yourself into a coma. You know, yeah, you can eat yourself. No, but into yeah, a coma. eat like beans and shit. Yeah, into a coma. Yeah, okay. Why haven't I farted yet, man? It's yeah, the protein stopped working. It's like I just can't win. I just can't win. Or swim? I can't swim or win. <laughs> 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 What age did you learn to swim or did your parents not teach you? Yeah, I just got tossed into creeks until I found my <laughs> way to the side. <laughs> oh, fuck. Oh, what shit. about you? <laughs> oh, I got lessons, I think. Oh, that must have been lovely. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. I think my, no, my dad taught me. My, I never had lessons. Fuck swimming lessons. Really? <gasps> it's the boringest sport. I learned oh. at the beach. You, the you were coast. born in water. Yeah. Like Matt Brown was I'm, born. He was hatched a, out of an egg. Pisces. A water birth. I'm a fish. I reckon, imagine like taking your kid to go do swimming. Were you as a their hard sport. birth or did you slip straight out? How the fuck would I know that? You haven't asked your mum? No. She hasn't said, oh, I was in fucking this many hours So you later. want me to ask, hey mum, was hey. I a hard birth or did I just slither out? Yeah, I, was, I, want, was I want you to birth. ask her what it was like giving birth to it was a stillbirth and then they had to like right, you were right, stillborn okay so now all right I'll you were ask fucking stillborn until they did that doosh, the electric, electric thing, thing on your fucking head. head i'll ask my mum what kind of birth i was yeah. and i'll bring it back next week i would appreciate it okay make yeah. a make a little note there and michael i think you should do the same i was a cesarean my umbilical cord was wrapped around my neck see michael knows die. michael knows and she tried to kill i was fully butterfly effect i think i was um there's really no record of how I was born. I reckon you came out of a fire. Found in a bin. I reckon you came out of a fucking fire. <laughs> Your dad and mum were just look, fucking it, it casting some like dust and shit into the fire. And you look, just look, it could it be. Out. That could be the case. But I don't know. Just speaking this weird yeah, tongue yeah, shit. Yeah, yep. Honestly, that could be that. That could be that. Could be what happened. I don't know. Making potions. Look, vomiting. It, that that could it's be like a what happened. fucked ritual. Yep, exactly. It could and be. It was I'm like gonna, I'm not going to rule it out. <laughs> it was a fucking bloody bloody sex. Could well have been that. I'm not going to rule anything out until <laughs> I've spoken to my mother. Do you understand? That's so how you were born, dude. Could be. Could be. Spot on. Yep. Yes. It, it was. How it you was. Were it was exactly how I was born. Yeah. Uh, through some sort of tribal r r ritual in Germany. <laughs> in Germany. I, I germinated from the ashes. Germinated. I germinated. Uh, German. That's how Germans germinate, baby. That's how they're born. I believe so. I could be wrong. It you is. haven't been there for I, a while. Look, I believe so. I think so. But I could be wrong. But it is how I was born. Stop so, looking at me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, you haven't been back for a while since like 10 years ago. No, they won't let me go back, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Oi. Look at your little flilly, eh? Yeah, it's fully swollen. Thank you. All right, we're time constraints, so oh, yeah. box. 
Oh, a P.O. box. Oh, a P.O. box, everyone! Whoa! If you want to send us shit, send them to P.O. box 256 Tagum 4018, Queensland, Australia. Is that from uh, my buddy? Oh, yes. <laughs> we have more, we have more codes. letters. Oh. Look, we keep getting told by people that they're sending us stuff, but that never seems to arrive. Well, the Australia Post is, can you cover that up? He's a bit rude. <laughs> oh, yeah, we got to watch the words on <laughs> yes. this guy. Oh, yeah, oh no, it's a fucking code. I'll read it behind Okay. No way! I want to read this. I'm this just scared. Good. I'm just scared they're going to see it through the back. Okay, there is no sperm, but please read both sides because I need to tell you guys something important. Here we fucking go. Oh, I trust him. Oh, I would not. There was no sperm. Oh wait. <laughs> yeah, there's definitely sperm. <laughs> <laughs> he always comes on his letters. Oh, okay. He's so it's, fast. It's pretty dry though. Only a little bit. <laughs> Man. Okay. <laughs> Unless Matt wants to say sorry for all the times he calls me weird when your P.O. box sign say send weird shit. Oh, true. And I swear and write fucked up shit to make the podcast great and viewers happy. That's it for now. But don't forget, Matt, this is war now. Me and you, watch out for your next letter. Wow. Oh. Long live a be very bad man. <laughs> And a very ba bad regime Jeez. in a country where I think you, I originated. From. <laughs> yeah, where he arose from the fucking ashes. ashes. Dear Marty Michael, I write letters to you. A lot of letters to podcasts because I don't want your PO box segment and podcast to fail. Yeah, that's so true. We wouldn't have any PO box if it weren't for this warring man. This fine man. And this is the code guy. This is my say when I say. <laughs> Season four, episode one, and I might not write a lot of letters now because you guys don't want me to by swearing. No. So I will stop until you read letters with bad words, but I will not stop writing to Matt since he said, bring it on <laughs> season four, episode one. Dude, we appreciate your letters. We just can't read some of the words. Yeah, you, you say some fuck. Because, uh, I guess we said sandwich. Yeah, look at this. It's cool. Not many people get sent cum pretty much every week. It's not the cum that bothers hey, me. Shut your fucking mouth. Everyone, shut the fuck up, okay? Look at the camera. Look, Look at, at the, the camera. camera. All right. That, that was very, very... It is time for the prank call, and it is time for Rhonda to make her day, but... I'm just going to check the cameras. Oh, no. I saw the middle one shaking and fizzing around a bit. It spun up. It spun upwards. All right, this is the prank call, and what we are, what we are going to do right now is I'm going to call... It's a couple of pubs. And I'm just going to call it because I've lost me wall. What is the pokey? Rhonda is calling a pub. Yes, here we go. What's the good pub? I'm just come down. What, Tuesday's Hello. good? Kevin Williams speaking. Okay, go Kevin. Uh, I'll just come down. It's about four. And so, um, I can't find my wallet missing out of my bag. It's just down, down the pokey's. Uh, I was just calling to see if maybe... Excuse me. Calling to see maybe if someone had picked that up or some, something like that. Uh, not that I'm aware of. Um, D darling, would you, I was probably left maybe. I'm going to say maybe. What's the time? What's the time? I'm probably about maybe five o'clock or something. Maybe four o'clock. I'm not like 100% sure uh, the oh, time and Can anymore. I take your name and your Yeah, of course. Yes, please, please do. Please do. Okay, my name is Rhonda and that's R-H-O-N-D-A and then two H's at the end. Rhonda Langston. Rhonda Lang... Best contact phone number. Best contact phone number. It's 0423 mm -hmm. 196 one nine seven. One nine. What was the last number? Sorry? Seven. Sorry. 
Excuse me. 196, 197. 196, 197. That's correct. Right. Is there any way, darling, you could do me a favor? I'm just going to quickly duck down to the this machine there with the, uh, the the mine, the gold mine machine. I was playing, spent maybe $200 on the machine. If she could just pop it down and have a quick look at the machine for me, darling, because it's got like a lot of cash in it. $50. Sure. It's pink Roxy wallet. You know the Roxy brand? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so it's pink Roxy wallet and it's got my license. You should see it on the Lang- license. Sure, okay, so the gold mine machine you said? Yeah, it's, I think it's a gold yeah. one or maybe the one next to it. I can't remember. I had a few features. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so the gold mine machine you said? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so the gold mine machine you said? Excuse I'll me. Go and have a look. I'll bring you back. Mm, that'd be great. that'd be. I'll wait on the phone, darling. I've got. It's, right, I've, no I'll, worries, I'll just pop the phone down for a few minutes. Thank. Okay? I'm stressing out about it. You know what I mean? Yeah, so, I bet. All right, I'll right. Okay, darling. Uh, hurry okay. along okay. now. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Fucking hell! I can't even stand up. <laughs> Stupid taking machine. Stole my money. I'm gonna come down and give you a wallop. Pink, pink Roxy wallop. <laughs> if I find out they've stolen it, is it Dabby hearing from my uncle and he's studying to do lawyer? He even said that I could come to him with problems. So I can just call him and straight away if they're stolen my old wallet. It's fifty dollars cash in tens and fives. You can't leave that lying around for too long these days. <laughs> because it's some fucking cunt is kind of collected my wallet. It's pretty much a soul. It's just salt. Hundred and ten percent of salt. Your property is, is part of who you are as a person. Excuse me. Fucking hurry up. The packing machine's maybe twenty meters from the bar. Why is she taking so long? Like, what's the whole up? Is she c- carrying my money or something? <laughs> Fill me with the brown m- mints, Mr. Brown. <laughs> Mr. Brown. <laughs> mm, I might have some wine with dinner. There's a red bottle of Shiraz in the pantry. Fair for special occasion, but. <laughs> You know what? You only live once. They better fucking find my wallet. Otherwise, they're seriously be hearing from my uncle. And he's studying to do lawyer. Hey! Hello! Fuck's sake! Are you kidding me right now? You gonna put me on hold? Mm. You seriously can make me wet? <laughs> I could have walked down by now. <laughs> Hello? Just <laughs> going on. It takes seven minutes. To sh- oh, oh my god. It took so long. I thought you'd pat me on a hold or some shit. Well, you asked me to have a look for it, and I've had a look for it, and I can't. The, uh, come on now, you tell me the pink Roxy wallet. It had fifty dollars <laughs> cash in it. Okay, it's nowhere to be found in the anyway. Look, uh, is this seriously? I'm gonna have to come down and look for it myself. Cause uh, last time I lost small wallet. It turns out that one of the bartenders had a snaky, snaky put it in their bag. 
So, right, um, so maybe I'm maybe you got you know where it is, but you don't want no, to tell me. I don't know where it is, and it's probably not a good idea for you to come in because you sound intoxicated on the way. You might. My uncle is studying to be lawyer. Okay, he said I can call her whenever I need help. <laughs> Okay. okay, so just bear that in mind next time you steal my wallet because I spend more than more than two hundred dollars a week. Okay, you're establishing it. Okay, well I haven't stolen your wallet. I just can't. Oh, I, 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 excuse me. I beg to differ. Okay, I, I can hear in your voice. Do you think you know? I know you got it. Okay, and I'm coming down like a ton of bricks. On that establishment that you call home. Okay. Well, then thank you. Goodbye. Uh, look, uh, wait. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, uh, Rhonda is my favourite character. She it felt beats, right. It felt she, right. She beats Arnold fine. She beats Arnold fine. Yeah. Really? She hits him. Dude, she would. That is fucked. I Maybe that's Arnold, Arnold Fine's wife. I think we've got a. I think we've oh got a God. new character, <laughs> dude. The hiccups. She yeah. fully thought you were intoxicated, and you were a woman. She thought you were an intoxicated woman. <laughs> They'd probably get what, them all the time. What pub did we call you? I don't know if we should say. Oh, yeah, the, cut the uh, yeah, pub yeah, that we cut, called then because yeah, because then I can call them all the time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You lose your wallet everywhere, every Tuesday night. No, I'll lose Dude, something every time. And hopefully there is a patron called Rhonda there who gets <laughs> drunk and they think it's her. <laughs> oh, fuck. That's Let me like look at her up on the member's computer. That's one of my most favorite prank calls, I reckon, ever. I was on hold. I, I think, yeah, the, the hold part was just like half the fun. Yeah, the hold part I was, was just very well done. It actually felt like I was you were Rhonda. <laughs> that was so good. Thank I you. <laughs> oh, ton of bricks. Oh, can't sound like ton of bricks. <laughs> <laughs> my oh. dad, my uncle is a lawyer. lawyer. She's gonna come down. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, oh fuck. very, very, and uh, that brings us to the end of episode number three. Oh. And um, Michael would like to leave you with this parting message. Before you've made a choice, your brain has made that choice. Meaning there is no more free will. Cock. We are the best. We are the best. We're 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 the best.